Welcome to Romans Beitler here in Kasserine, one of the most impressive archaeological sites in the country. Right, let's go and explore. Right, here is the plan of Spaitler. And now we're gonna wander around and see what we can find. So this starts off with a Byzantine fort. Uh, th these are the first things you see as you walk in. So we're kind of opposite the museum at the moment. Uh, but you can see the really impressive forum and the various remains are further up there. Rather helpfully, it actually has a labelled map at the entrance and then it actually has um, information signs dotted all the way around to give you, I mean look at this, not even just the name of the area but an actual explanation of what's going on in French and Arabic. So apparently this is the best preserved olive press in Roman North Africa and that's one of the first things you hear as you wander in. But what we're really looking for is the forum and if we have a look I mean that's amazing one of the first things the guides say to you as you come in is that this place is much much better than Duga so <laughs> uh, here we go towards the central quarter let's follow that I was really excited to come and visit this site because one of my friends who's based in Tunis and has traveled quite a lot around the country, he came here recently and said this ranks in his top five archeological sites for the whole of Tunisia, which is pretty amazing considering some of the uh, sites that this place has. And I mean, so far, it's incredibly well preserved. And the forum, is, it looks like the best preserved forum in Tunisia that I've seen so far. Let's have a look and see what this one says. That's a water system. So here we have a water system all across there. And then we've got the forum behind it. Let's go and check that out. As the sign tells us, this forum dates to 139 AD. And this has to be one of the most impressive things I've seen in Tunisia in terms of archeological sites. Look at how well preserved this all is. Let's wander in. And the walls stretch all the way around us and then we've got views down the road there it's truly incredible do get eat your heart out look at this it's great to see that this site is being properly curated we've got actual bins and almost no litter dotted about the actual archaeological site great behind me we have a sixth century christian temple Ooh, spider on the lens this was built by servus apparently amazing that in an area that's quite tectonically active it's managed to stay upright look at that that's like three or four stories worth Right, well that's one of the uh, baptismal fonts. I'm not sure that's the one we're looking for though. Let's go look over at that church over there and see if we can find a better one. Right, here is the, here is a baptismal font, I guess. Right, here we have the baptismal font. And if we look, there's the capital. Amazing. So to my right here, we have the main baths. And in front of us, look at this. This is the main theater. A few reflections on Spaitler as I'm walking back to the car. Firstly, what an amazing place to have just integrated into your town. Look at these guys behind me. They're just walking home from school and they get to walk through this every day. <laughs> Amazing. This is another place in Tunisia that just has me scratching my head and wondering why isn't this a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The level of preservation is incredible. I mean, it's similar, very similar in fact to Duga, I think. It's certainly better labeled than Duga, which is a good thing. Here, here we've got another one. So we've got the, one of the baths complexes. 
With the brand new hotel that's just been built just up the road, this has real potential to bring in more tourists, I think, because it's well worth a visit, assuming the security situation is okay. A lot of people write off Kasserin as a governor. I mean, partly, partly because of various security warnings, uh, but partly because they just assume there's not much for tourists. Um, and even reading the guidebooks written back in 2010, they, they kind of reinforce that. They do say that it's a bit depressing and there's not much going on, but look at this. This is definitely worth a visit. Look at that triumphal arch down there. <laughs> yeah, incredible.